Hey everyone, a common complaint I've heard about the Samsung Galaxy lineup is the camera shutter lag. That is, when you take a photo, not only is the photo not taken immediately, but if you have any moving subjects in your photo, they're often blurry. iPhone and Pixel have zero shutter lag, and in bright conditions, have no problems taking photos of subjects that are in full motion. In One UI 5, Samsung has introduced for the S22 and S23 a setting in the Camera Assistant Good Lock module to trade image quality for a faster shutter speed. In this video, we'll see if it works and compare it to my Pixel 4a. Here's the default shutter speed for the S22. You can see there's a slight delay in taking photos after I press the shutter button. And here's the shutter speed when you enable the fast shutter setting. With the fast shutter enabled, it can shoot more images in rapid succession than my Pixel 4a and my Pixel 7, but that doesn't mean that they've also solved the motion blur problem. So I took some photos while I was riding on the highway to compare. These first few photos were taken with the default shutter, that means the fast shutter setting was disabled. As you can see, they're completely unusable and extremely blurry. Let's look at some samples with the fast shutter setting. Starting with the S22, you can see that the photo is blurry. That's even more evident when I zoom in on the text, however, it's still better than before. Switching to the Pixel 4a, you can immediately tell the difference. The text is quite clear and much sharper. I took some more samples of highway signs, starting with the S22. I'm going to zoom through them so you can pause to take a look at the photos. As you can see, the shots are… okay. They're not the best, but they are better than the shots with the default shutter speed. You can at least read the signs in half of these photos, though the other half are still pretty blurry and I'll probably have to delete them. Now here are the photos I took with my Google Pixel. In comparison to the S22, the Pixel does a much better job at freezing things in motion and taking photos of moving objects. In contrast to the shots I took on the S22 with the fast shutter, all of the shots I took on the Pixel are very legible and they look pretty good. So in conclusion, the camera shutter lag problem has improved with the introduction of the fast shutter setting. I also didn't personally see a significant decrease in the image quality when enabling that setting. No, the photos still aren't quite as good as the Pixel or the iPhone, however, the photos have gone from completely unusable with the default shutter setting to being usable and just okay with the fast shutter setting. This is something that Samsung should continue to work on, but it's very heartening to see some improvements in this end. Anyways, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Peace!